gonna slam this one out for you guys because this is a a throwback mixed with a well I don't know what the opposite of a throwback is hold back I don't anyway got the new truck this thing long time coming to buy a custom ordered everything truck is pretty neat but this would be technically the first ever thing I ordered custom to my spec was this Texas Pride trailer this is my uh, 30k rated trailer and I'll tell you what boys this is just a heavy boat anchor but it's pretty nimble and I can kind of throw it around into spots that you probably shouldn't be driving in and if it kind of rubs against a tree which I haven't done but if it did wouldn't you know be too worried about it because like literally this trailer out the door cost half of what that trailer did and I'll tell you what that price difference that trailer should be way more than double the price of this one because this thing doesn't have much going on at all continuously having issues with these ramps back here you can see right there I got fresh welds all over on them it ripped some stuff off right there I ended up adding these extensions on it was just a complete battle with this thing because you'd have to put blocks blocks under the back because the ramps didn't do a good enough job to do anything the truck would do a wheelie and it does have 15,000 pound axles that ended up swapping to uh, grease in them so they would stop going through the seals brand new seals it, it didn't care it's just terrible but when it comes down to it that's all your weight going onto this thing it's like maybe quarter inch pressed around right there but yeah she's I mean the bolts rated for way more than the steel is so but I'm glad that I I mean these are brand new tires on it you can see I haven't used this trailer that much I ran it for like two years and then bought that one but I'm gonna go ahead and load the prime up on it because uh, I got it hooked up to the truck I'm gonna I'm gonna use it I was talking to Jacob Diamond C we're going on two years now since I said I wanted the new 2.0 trailer and it's still not here so as soon as that one officially lands gets shipped whatever then I'll be selling this one but until then I'll use it from time to time don't get me wrong it's a handy trailer but you see when I load up on it it is rough Huh, texting the guy about a toy hauler trailer. I'm gonna say 300 pounds. <laughs> Nothing to rib this one right here. She's bending. I mean, it's just, it's not ideal. Uh, a little bit of satisfaction going this route. Not really sure why. But there it is. Old school single grouser. Even, well, on triple grouser, you can squeeze into a spot. But just clean into the tracks. Something cool about it. kind of tight the back one's a bit the ones that really cinch it down because it's pulling her down ain't going nowhere right there look at that starting to pop the weld this chain's compromised go ahead and grab that new extra long one I got little shelf oh got another chain in there what the hell where'd that come from there's all kinds in there. Oh, cool, good deal.
All right. Main hill right out the house, right off the bat. It's actually kind of a good little hill. Show you guys what this thing will do. Kind of stretch for his gear a little bit. Lock second gear, we're at 1400 RPM. This truck kind of hits a wall compared to a high output truck. I'm not gonna sit here and argue the horsepower facts. It's got, I don't know, what is it? 50 horsepower less than a high output truck. But then again, it's got lower gear ratio. So, you know, it doesn't really help it, but it kind of helps it. Lower gears on anything will make stuff move. But this thing off the line takes off no problem. High output truck, come up this hill, around 33 35 thereabouts with 30,000 ish pounds slightly less i'm at 29 right now i just got to stretch the rpms because if i go to third then it well we'll see what it does get right here you try to time your shift so you're in a little bit better of a spot we're at 30 mile an hour right now for the folks that were wondering if well is the truck really hurting on the power this is the heaviest trailer that I own, aside from maybe the dump trailer. I think this thing actually weighs more. I think it's around 9,000 pounds. It's not light. And this is the heaviest machine that I regularly tow, which is around 22,000 pounds, maybe slightly more. Because if you guys haven't seen the other new machine, then you will know that this one actually outweighs it. But if I would have stayed in, there you go. If I would have stayed in second, it would have pulled it at 30 just fine. But that last little crest of the hill, it's got a little hump, and we dropped down a little bit. But nevertheless, it goes right about 30 up there, depending on your gear selection. And the high output truck, same thing with the Ford, same towing a little bit less weight. Ran the hill about 33, 35, somewhere in there. Quite a bit less effort. It seemed like it was able to do it at a lower RPM. But this one seems to favor the Revan, which is you know part of the deal my 08 which is not stock coming up that very hill right there put it in third gear and that's just all it's got like i could go to fourth and then just bog it down time between shifting with the manual transmission you lose about a thousand plus rpm and you end up just going back to the original gear you started in so i ended up pulling a third at 30 mile an hour so in situations like that, it does exactly the same as my, not highly modified, but not simple modified truck. So for that standpoint, it's doing just the same. Plus my hands are nice and warm, and my seat nice and warm, thanks to the heated options that I went with. But it's just crazy how you can buy just a turnkey ready to go truck and not do anything to it, except for well, this one I had to add the bed. But modifications underneath the hood, I haven't done any of that. And this thing is just going, you know? With this setup, this truck weighs more than my old one does by a little bit. But with this setup, when I scaled it, same trailer, same machine, I scaled this thing, it was at 41,500 pounds. So I'd say in total right now, uh, without giving away too much information, guess factors on how much this thing weighs. I'm going to say we're around 42,000 to 43. But I'm tagged for 54 now. So, combination between this truck and that trailer, I'm good for 50,000. Just the way simple math works. You add the trailer to the truck, 30k trailer, 19.5 truck, you get 49.5. Just gradually go down this hill. It's probably too slow for traffic. Just a Mustang back there. If I don't be careful, they'll think I'm a stop vehicle and run into me going slow enough with you know exhaust brake functions. Go ahead and drop a hole. Put her in second gear. See if we even touch the brakes coming down this old road. It was this hill right here when I came down with the Ford that I was like, man, I'm scared. Don't pull. That's just honestly how I felt because I'm like, does it ever start to hold itself back? Some say that the cabin chassis exhaust brake doesn't hold back as much as the high output. And I think to a point I might agree with that. I haven't confirmed it, 
but I feel like this one just doesn't quite have the, the last little bite, just like the high output power would have. Like they don't have the exhaust brake turned way up. And that is something you can adjust. But anyway, she's rocking and rolling for those of you guys who are skeptical on if I was bummed or excited or regretful about buying this truck. Honestly, it's just been killing it. I got 1,400 miles on the truck right now, and 800 of those have been towing. So she's just been doing the deed. Pretty decent hill right here. I would speculate to around 10%. And the steep parts of it. It's a kind of a whoop section hill. I think that one of the cooler things about this truck, the thing I'm most excited for, is I've been driving stick shift forever. That's all pretty much every one of my trucks I've ever been, the ones that I you know daily drove. And First gear with 444s with a stick shift, it's pretty low. But like right here, taking off from this hill, oh, trying to get back down to first. Tries to stay in second, so I manually first it. Taking off from that right there, it's kind of hard on things. Like that wasn't really a prime example of this truck doing great, but it really just likes to stay in first. So we're gonna have to go back down first here. I haven't had to clutch or anything, but I got out of the way. That hill was supposed to be a good example of why I like the automatic, but it's a prime example of what an automatic still is. At the end of the day, we're unlocked right now in first gear. It's doing 15 mile an hour at 29.50 up this hill. Transmission temp will start to climb when you're doing stuff like that. But you get into second gear and it'll lock up. So this truck naturally wants to get second and just keep it there. Because it's locked up, that's less wear and tear on the trans because it's locked it's less heat and everything but taking off on that hill right there with the stick shift if I'm I, you know I'd say feather the clutch kind of thing but it, it's you really got to be gentle taking off right there or else you can hurt some stuff never hurt anything obviously but you know the fact always remained you got to be careful with it and it's hard on the clutch it's hard on the drivetrain when you take off sometimes it'll pull once it actually fully engages trying to not slip the clutch because first gear really needed to be granny low taken off on a steep spot like that that it would bog down the engine when it finally fully engaged and you'd be just barely chooching come on baby and there's tons of hills around here in situations where I was like oh man poor clutch here we go hold on buddy and this thing the trans attempt didn't even get hot doing what I just did either but it's nice just to easily take off and go <clears throat> one of the simple comforts of the automatic and one of the modern comforts of the new age automatic is the torque converters are so tight tight it actually goes it doesn't rev to the moon would it be nice to have more horsepower yeah always always would be nice to have more horsepower but more horsepower comes with you know stipulations wear and tear sometimes you get more horsepower you got to monitor stuff and that's all i've done over the last five six years to just monitor everything like you should but to a t just religiously checking all the temperatures as i'm towing egt's engine temp you know adding coolers and stuff trying to tame that power because power is heat. If you don't have good cooling for it, heat destroys. So having this kind of power in stock form, still doing the same exact job at the same speeds with less horsepower, probably because the automatic, just modern modifications through everything, this is nice. Now, I do not plan on deleting this truck anytime soon, although I did not get the extended warranty, but did not use that on my fourth gen, so figured I'd save thousands I think I spent near three grand on the extended warranty on my 3500 never used it all right nobody come around the corner also you can dart out in traffic way quicker 
blind corner right there, that's always kind of a prayer. I had to uh, brake check that crap out of that the other day. There was two cars coming. Didn't see them until bumper was almost at the line. There we go. Show you some examples of why flatbed also. Diamond C is not that bad, but this trailer, like you guys saw, it's a little bit lower profile than the Diamond C gooseneck. Diamond C, you could, I guess, uh, if you're like six feet, you could squeeze under the neck on a normal gooseneck hide trailer. This one, you got to be like five foot four to squeeze underneath this one without ducking. So that means when you're towing, you know, you got to worry about your bed rails if you got a regular pickup. And over there on that other road I towed in, they had a pretty nasty spot where I turned around and I couldn't have done it with a regular pickup in this trailer. There's no way. It would have, the bed rails would have been gone. So this is just less things to worry about, better visibility. So the cab chassis, you know, it's just an easier route to go when it comes to uh, upfitting anyway. Just, you know, getting a high output 3500 and deleting the bed just doesn't, I don't know, don't make too much sense. But this is a little narrow road that I didn't want to tow in at first, so I brought this trailer and it, it squeaks in here pretty good. I think I can fit the diamond C in here, but I got to turn around in the weed, so I just, yeah, I'll leave the diamond at home. And I, th I thought that rock was a lot, a lot worse off. <sighs> All the trees are done somebody did some illegal stuff you see that later on I can't show you guys that now because there's top secret equipment on the job I know you guys ain't ready for it I'll just tell you that much right now see what I mean it's got to be like 5'2 to fit underneath this thing 6 feet diamond C is up here you know so you can get underneath of it what's this oh just a hole where they didn't weld through <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, funny thing is though. Hey, Boone, is that Emma? Look, okay, Emma's right there. This is not the heaviest thing that I've hauled with this thing. I've hauled, uh, uh, yeah, more than this. I figure this one's around 31 ish back here, 32 maybe. I've hauled 35 back there with the other trailer. Included. Look at it. Look at the chapo. Emma's a cool dog. Good. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah, my beans. Oh, yeah, she cool. Here comes the boosters. Oh, we dad. Ah, my beans. It's texting. Hmm. All kinds of BS. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the old 5500 doing her job. No idea what the name of this is for every new truck I get. Call it the new truck. Those are still the new truck to me, but anyway. Anyway, we're here. Hope you guys enjoyed. What's the most you towed with your truck? If you towed more than 10,000 pounds with your Ford Ranger, let me know. I want to hear about that. That's funny. Also, if you guys go on Instagram, tag me on your posts, and I'll share them because I want to see what everybody else is towing. See you guys later.